While Jenna Elfman may have the looks of a model, she's not afraid to go all goofy for a laugh. And she's utilised this talent to become one of the few actresses with the ability to jump successfully from TV to film. From an early age, Jenna knew that she was bound for the bright lights of Hollywood. When I was five, my mom. I seem to vaguely remember it, but she remembers me sitting in the car and I was very, I was like, hmm, very serious, looking out the window like I always do. I have my big realizations in the car still. And I was just looking, hmm, uh, my mom says, Penny for your thoughts, like she always would do. And I go, hmm, uh, hmm. She's like, come on, tell me what you're thinking. I'm like, hmm. And she goes, come on. I said, I'm gonna be a big star one day. <laughs> and it sounds very conceited to say that, but I can say it because I don't remember saying it. But my mom says so, and so therefore I am. But um, yeah, I knew it. I just loved entertaining people and I love watching faces change by putting out some art, creating something from nothing. And um, it's great. Jenna started out appearing in commercials and landed the occasional guest role in TV shows like Roseanne and NYPD Blue. She got her first big break, starring alongside Molly Ringwald in the sitcom Townies. While the show didn't last long, Elfman's performance impressed TV execs so much, they gave her her own show, Dharma and Greg. And I always felt this is what America needed. Um, in terms of television, you have a lot of cynical, antagonistic characters on television. And my point of view is people go to work all day with hostile, antagonistic people at work. And most people are probably not in an occupation that they enjoy. Then they come home to turn on the television to see hostile, antagonistic people in their living room. And, um, and I think it's fun to give people a sense, of, a sense of humor that doesn't come from cynicism or hostility, you know? The, the dharma, it's from love, and people really trying to make the best, you know, with a sense of humor and with love and with joy about life, and then it's fun, and you can actually enjoy yourself. Dharma and Greg proved a phenomenal success lasting five seasons. Just don't ever get Jenna confused with Dharma and never ever refer to Dharma as ditzy. There's a difference between Dharma and I, and... Uh... And I protest the ditzy Dharma comment. Yeah, I kind of Wait protest the ditzy part. Because the she's insouciant <laughs> and free of spirit, it makes her ditzy. Your answers toward us. And wow. Ask really... Well, I think it... I'm sorry, but <laughs> ditzy is somebody who loves life and sticks to what she's, she's her integrity is, is not ditzy. Ditzy yeah. doesn't get the job done. Not content with success on the small screen, Jenna hit the big screen in Ed TV. Playing the love interest of a man who's starring in his own reality TV show, she faced some unexpected challenges. What's funny about Sherry and what I have to remember when I'm playing the scenes where the cameras are in my face is I'm comfortable with cameras, so I have to remember to not be so comfortable and to know that they're there and to feel that feeling of the camera staring at you, you know? <clears throat> like sometimes I'm not comfortable with cameras, sometimes I am, but when you're doing take after take, you just get used to the cameras being there. So to keep that fresh and keep knowing they're there and what that does to you uh, has been a slight challenge. You know, not a terrible obstacle, but just something that I realize I have to keep remembering. Keen to showcase the range of her acting skills, Elfman took roles in Town and Country and Keeping the Faith. But the most exciting opportunity was getting to work with her childhood heroes in Looney Tunes Back in Action. I totally grew up with the Looney Tunes, and I think the appeal is they're, they're so smart, these characters, while completely, you know, doing really crazy, stupid things. But they've always been very poignant. They've been written really well, especially when I was growing up. And they're bringing that back to these characters because they, they had gotten away from that humor for a while. And I think they've brought back more of that elevated sense of humor. And I really, that, I found that very attractive. And that made me really want to do this movie, is to share the screen with these characters the way I grew up with them. On the set, Jenna discovered working with cartoons wasn't all fun and games. It's very, I thought, you know, I used to hear people say, oh, working with animated characters, very difficult, very hard. And I always thought, just make believe. Till I started doing it, it's hard. And it took a couple weeks to really understand how to do it, how to interact with them, how to achieve that comedic timing and make it work the way I would make it work with a human being. And um, I learned a lot from Brendan. I watched how he did it, because he had worked with this kind of thing before. So it was tough, but now it's really fun. Once you get the hang of it, it's really fun. 
In Looney Tunes Back in Action, Jenna proves she can pratfall with the best of them, a talent that her co-star, Brendan Fraser, admired. I think she has a strand of DNA borrowed from Carol Burnett, from Lucille Ball, and a ballerina, which she is, by the way. But at the same time, she has amazing uh, facility for physical comedy. I mean, this is a girl who is A, really pretty, B, really pretty, C, talented, D, really pretty, but really very, very funny and confident. She's got spitfire delivery. She can turn a joke. She um, is, I mean, she's, she's a pro all the way but resilient and funny and, and, and easy to, to, uh, to work with because she enjoys being there. She really likes her job, and I think that's what makes her so good at it. Jenna's won lots of fans around the world by making us laugh, so it might surprise you to know that she hasn't always been aware of her comedic talents. Someone said, you should be a comedian. I thought, are they insane? I'm not funny. I'm not funny at all. And then I, like I said, I did townies, and then I started watching it, and I thought, oh, I think I have a good grasp for comedy just because I'm the one who laughs at funerals. Do you know, I see th things are funny to me. I just, I'll be laughing in a play when no one else is laughing or a movie. Um, I just find humor in things that I think most people don't, and maybe that's odd, but um, I think that's just my humor on life, and, and you think you have to have it to get through life. <laughs> you can't be too serious or it'll kill you. Jenna Elfman may have won over our hearts playing a ditzy blonde, but she's gone on to prove there is so much more to her than that, achieving success in both TV and film, which is no mean feat in Hollywood. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all of the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better. On screen and at mnc.tv.